Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jules Leahy. I'm here today to talk to you about a couple of recent performances I had at the Oakland Coliseum playing the national anthem for the Oakland A's. <laughs> All right, well, we are back today with my trusty old SG, which just uh, took a spin at the Oakland Coliseum for the first time, which was a really amazing experience. Um, I got to play the national anthem uh, a month ago for the A's playing against the Giants, which is really cool. I've always been a big baseball fan and have loved the Coliseum. The A's are my team. So to play the anthem there for a home game against their Crosstown rival to the Giants was just pretty amazing. Um, I had some approaches when I when I was asked to perform it. I thought, well, what's the best? Like, what do I do? Do I do the kind of Jimi Hendrix thing, or do I? You know, it's kind of a tall task playing the national anthem when that's all you're given. Um, so I, I thought about it for a while and considered. You know, I definitely wanted to play slide because that's my my favorite, and I wanted to. Uh, perform it you know with the slide and I thought well what key works best I mean I could do it in E the guitar is tuned to E but um, I decided to do it the first time around in the key of B because I kind of set myself up for like a couple moments in the performance where there there are some unique things that happen so let me play the whole thing for you just so that I can kind of roadmap uh, like the actual notes that I play and you can just hear the actual thing and then I'll show you some of the bells and whistles so here's the national anthem as I played it on this guitar um, against the Giants this was August 21st of the uh, 2021 <laughs> So that was uh, that was what I did at the Coliseum the first time around, and I think the 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 bell and whistle part that I'm really talking about is when you have all these open strings, there are certain things you can do like this trick, right? And I love this. You can always hear, like when I just did those last couple notes, those harmonics way up there where we could hear those a lot. That's like, you know, when we're hearing a string vibrate, we're hearing all sorts of stuff going on. We're hearing all sorts of notes. And the more we can hear, the more, the more literal you know, info there is in the sound. But um, as far as distorted guitar stuff is concerned, that's the exciting, like pleasing part. So um, I love this moment. And what I love about it too is that Jimi Hendrix didn't do that. I wanted to do that. I thought it was. Seriously though, it's kind of nice to just not have people go, oh, well, great that you can copy Jimmy. <laughs> Cause that is really fun, but it's nice to do your own thing too. So 
So there's that. And then just the fact that we're in the key of B in this case, at the seventh fret, the very last thing I did is I go, go like this. I go like this. And just hit those, the seventh fret harmonic. Right? Like just really loud, let that ring. And um, so in B, in the slide guitar tuned to E, there's a lot of action going on in the key of B. Like you're, you're gonna get all sorts of cool, pleasing uh, harmonics and, and just, it's gonna sound really nice and big and open. So that was sort of why I did it in the key of B on this guitar the first time around. Then fast forward to just a couple days ago, this was September 26th, 2021. Um, I got invited back to do another uh, anthem performance. This was for the A's last home game of the year. And that was really awesome to be invited back. I wanted to do it differently. So um, I swapped guitars. So I'm gonna throw my Les Paul on for this one. And let's talk about that performance now. All right, so now for this second anthem performance, I'm really happy I decided to go with the Les Paul. I did something I hadn't actually done before. Um, which is raise the action quite a bit and put thicker strings on this and play slide guitar. Um, <laughs> funny, I hadn't done that on my Les Paul yet. <laughs> but I'm really glad I did this thing. It, it sounded like a lightsaber or something like, I don't know, Godzilla. Like the tone was ridiculous out there on the field. So all the same pedals and everything, the cherry tone, the uh, Centura, all that was going on. And um, the Les Paul just has this gigantic thing that happens. It, it really is like the ultimate rock and roll guitar. Um, it's in open D and I played it in the key of D. So I had just all the open, like all the open string action you could ever want. And um, before I break down any of the parts or anything, let me show you how that's different in the key of D and listen for the sonic difference from the SG on the Les Paul. Um, just with the open strings, lower tuned, and uh, considering it's the anthem, hopefully it sounds pretty different. So here's the anthem, how I played it. Uh, this was the September 26th performance. <laughs> So there's a couple different sort of routes you can take with the national anthem. And to end it this time, I like this thing that happened. This is like, you'll hear this depending on whose version you listen to. Um, so I went like this. <laughs> So that's like flat six, flat seven, one, right? For you music nerds at home. Um, so just sort of like a, a different harmony going on. Last time I kind of bluesed it out on the SG and did like a four one type of thing. Um, and then last time, another thing that I did, this is a very specific reference. 
I didn't mention it earlier. I, I, I should have mentioned it, but um, I, I quoted this little thing that Whitney Houston did at the end of her performance at the 1991 Super Bowl. If you have not seen that performance, that's I love that one. That one gives me goosebumps every time I see it. Um, and that was just this sort of a thing. She goes like this. It's this embellishment at the very end. That little vocal, right? Good thing I played on my guitar and I didn't sing it. I can't tell you how cool it was to play the anthem at the A's game, not once, but twice in the last month. Uh, kind of a, a dream come true in certain ways and just a, a really amazing experience to be invited back is just really wonderful and um, I can't wait to keep doing it elsewhere like I want to play this at the Warriors game the Raiders game you, you name it I'm gonna be there so uh, hope you enjoyed these performances and some of the sort of techniques and like seeing the behind the scenes you know what goes into something like this um, and some of those licks maybe you can bring them into your own playing and Something I love about this is that you could play maybe Amazing Grace or you could play, you know, Happy Birthday. You can throw all these licks in there. You can throw little techniques like harmonics and everything in your own playing. So hopefully seeing how maybe I did the National Anthem, maybe now when you're playing your own stuff, some of that's going to sink in and, and uh, slip in your own playing more than you realize. So anyway, let me know if um, the breakdowns were helpful, if you had any favorite parts or you know, things that maybe you took away from it. Definitely curious, so leave us some comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We've got all sorts of cool videos, guitar nerd stuff, just up the wazoo, and we've got a bunch of cool stuff coming up too. If you haven't checked out Your First Rodeo, please check that out. That's a really fun original record. All original music just came out, and um, you're going to dig it, I guarantee it. All right, thanks, y'all. Take care. We'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.